Good morning, everyone. Jai Jinendra Pranam to all the Oshwal community. Uh, we're very excited to be doing this session this morning. Um, I am joined by my lovely, very inspiring mother-in-law, Nisha Ben Mahendra Mehta. Pranam. And uh, it's a real honour to be uh, doing this for Oshwal. I'll just give you a little introduction if you don't know me. I'm a personal trainer and a wellness coach. Um, these sessions we've been running for the Asian community, so I really am pleased to be doing it for um, our Oshwal community as we are both Shah girls <laughs> married into Metha. Mummy will be translating into Gujarati for me. So it's going to be a very easy chair workout. It's designed for our elderly, those that may be less mobile. I am on TV and radio about my concepts of exercise, including exercise snacks. And it's not eating while you're exercising. It's about taking short, bite-sized, small amounts of exercise throughout the day to try and hit the government guidelines of physical activity which will help us prevent so many of the chronic illnesses like type 2 diabetes, <clears throat> heart attack, cardiovascular disease, stroke, so many common Asian illnesses that we all have in our families or we all know someone with these. So exercise during lockdown and coronavirus is extremely important to build your immune systems and to try and keep your white blood cell count high to help in case you have to fight any infection. And I'm really focusing on the health benefits for your mind, your mental health benefits of exercise. So I want us to use exercise like medicine during these times. Uh, this video you can work through with us. You won't need any fancy equipment. Um, if you're new and complete beginner, just use your own body weight because we will be doing some moves to help strengthen your body. If you want to add maybe some light weight, I would suggest just some baked bean tins, some light tins that mummy will be using and otherwise any safe household object. I don't expect you to have uh, dumbbells like in a gym but even plastic bottles, water bottles, or milk cartons, uh, you can start adding weight as you progress. But just start off with body weight to begin. Hubella, um, just maro snack exercise, just just some ideas for you to also do in line with this workout that we'll be demonstrating. Um, it's something called a stair snack and mommy will tell you in Gujarati as well but if you could use your stairs three times a day in your house because we are in lockdown so it's a perfect solution to do from your own home you don't even have to get ready or go out or anything you just use your own stairs three flights of stairs is the goal but even if you start off small and you just do one set of stairs three times a day and then maybe before or after your meal so it's on an existing habit like breakfast lunch and dinner the research is amazing over six weeks your cardio respiratory health will increase your aerobic fitness will increase and it will really benefit your overall body health and strength so, mommy will just explain quickly about the stair snack in Gujarati. Lavina Binim Keche, Ke Kasrati Lovache, and let me Tholikwar Pan Kasrat Karo, and a Tholikwar Mate Pan Karo, Tame Jaima Pela, Ke Jaima Pachi, Savarno, Bapurno, and a Sanu Jamanu, Tame Tranva Dadra, Upper Charo, and Nichi Utro, Upper Charo, and Nichi Utro. Turn var karo, turn var na thai, to ek var karo. Atle e exercise snack kiya chhe, atle ke thodu thodu karwani. Very good, thank you. And it's like a treat for our body and our mind. If you are allowed out, if you haven't got the letter from the government keeping you at home, if you are allowed to out for exercise once a day, I would encourage everyone to walk 
Walking is amazing, not just for our health, but also mentally, it's like therapy. And especially for people with diabetes, type two diabetes, if you can walk uh, for just 10 minutes after a meal, it will really help control your blood sugar. And if you could hit the goal, eventually, depending on your fitness and your health, 30 minutes, five times a week. That is proven to increase your life expectancy by three years. And it can reduce your risk of heart disease, stroke and diabetes by up to 30 to 40 percent. Just our walking is such a great exercise and you try and walk nice brisk pace to raise your heart rate. You will get excellent benefits mentally and physically. Um, if you want to see any more advanced workouts, I'm providing free workouts on my Instagram at Feel Good with Lavina. For anyone that may find this too basic, they are suitable to seniors and beginners. It's with my son and my husband. We've been demonstrating all through lockdown, providing free workouts. I also have more workouts like this saved on my YouTube at Feel Good with Lavina. And I also have a website. So um, have a look at some of the other resources. I hope you enjoy today's session. We will make a start by warming up. So just sit comfortably on your chair for this full 45 minutes to an hour. Come here, try and sit straight. So all of us are now living uh, this sedentary lifestyle. They say sitting is the new smoking, unfortunately. We all, the younger generation and now older, technology has taken over. We all have screens, phones, computers. We're trying to prevent this, even when you're sitting on the sofa for too long. Try and sit back, lift your chest, fix your scapula, your shoulder blades together. Sit nice and upright and you will see the benefits, not just in your posture, but you will look taller, slimmer, you'll appear stronger as well. Mummy will repeat her mango jati and try and keep your belly button, your, your uh, navel sucked in towards your spine. And to train the stomach muscle. It is a muscle, so the more you work it, the more it will work for you and get uh, stronger. So try and learn how to breathe by keeping this stomach in. And just continuing even your day-to-day -day activities. Tamkari vatti kasrat ma tamari dutti tamay andar rakho tamay siddha tata thayne beso tamay lamba lakso tamay patra lakso ani tamaru sarir par majbut thase. Good. So let's try and use that. Even today, you can start by trying to keep your shoulders back. We're going to do some neck movements to warm. The neck up. We have a lot of people with neck pain and upper back issues right now, especially at home. So we will do some rotation. So we're going to turn to one side and I'll talk you through the breathing as well and inhale as you come back. Then you turn to the other side. Just try and turn your neck, keep everything else relaxed, your shoulders relaxed. So exhale, turn as far as you can, inhale, and then exhale, inhale. Bariswas kajo, andaswas kajo, bariswas kajo, andaswas kajo. And we'll do one more, turning left and right in your own time. It's going to really help to mobilize the neck. Lovely way to wake the body up. And then come to the middle. We'll now bring the chin down towards our chest. So you should feel it on the back of your head, on your neck. And then lifting up. Lift the chin as high as you can. You should feel a lovely stretch all the way down in the front of your neck. So exhale and inhale. Good. Tamari daddy, tamara chakki taraf lay jau. 
Now, just a great way to start the workout and release any tension. I love this movement, even if I've been sitting too long at my desk working or watching TV or anything, you can just do this movement. You're going to try and lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Inhale and then ah, exhale, just drop. <coughs> release any tension. It's a great way to de-stress as well. So. Inhale, kapa kanta ra flay jau, ane under swas kyo, bare swas kaido. Good. Under swas, bare swas. These are like shoulder shrugs, so lifting up and then exhale. We can try this with our arms up also. So if you feel comfortable, or you can do the other way. You can lift everything up, shoulders up to ears, and then drop. Good. So we try again. Inhale, lift, 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 looking straight ahead, and exhale. Good. One more. Inhale. Well done. Now, as we're warming our arms up, you can come slightly forward on the C and we're going to alternate. So we'll start with one arm, all the way around, big circle, then the other arm, inhale and exhale. So really use your breathing during this session to help calm your mind, get rid of any stress or any worries, inhale exhale almost i like to use exercise as part of my meditation so i really focus on my breath as i move inhale and exhale let's do one more and then let's try the other way, mummy. So we'll come from round the back forwards and just try and draw as big a circle as your shoulder allows. And we'll change arms. So if you change, then do this arm. Yeah, let's go this, we'll go forward. It takes a little bit of brain as well, which is good for things like Alzheimer's disease. As we age, we want to try and keep our brain functioning, so a little bit of coordination is good, but just do what you can. Well done. This is opening up your whole shoulder joint and seeing what your whole range is like. Maybe you'll feel tight. The more you practice this, maybe the bigger circles you'll be able to do next time. Well done. Now we're going to just work on our wrists when a lot of us are using phones and computers all day. Even I start feeling here this texting thumb and I know mommy has also got an iPhone now and become very good with technology. So let's open out our fingers, really stretch them out and then close into a fist. So exhale, lengthen and inhale. Bare shwas kado, ane tamara anga ekdom bare kado. Good. Inhale. Anga shwas kyo. Let's do one more stretch. Bare shwas. And relax. Anga shwas. Now keeping this uh, fist closed, we're going to do some circles. I'm not moving all my arms. I'm just trying to move my wrists. So these are big circles for the wrist. Let's do five one way and five the other. Tamara kanda fara jod tamara hat nati fara vana tamara kanda ch fara vana che. Amna apne ek baju kariye che, pachi biji baju hove kariye. Lovely. Well done. So even warming up, this is going to help with circulation through the body, getting all of our joints and muscles nice and woken up and warmer. 
Very good. These exercises you can do anywhere. If you're sitting watching TV, have a little break. And maybe pick a few of these exercises today because we're going to do quite a few. Just pick a couple and start off small and just see if you, you can incorporate them into your daily life. Now with our one leg forward, so as soon as I lift my leg up, I'm tightening these muscles here. They start working to support the leg up. Now I'm going to point the toes and then flex, bring them towards me. And we're gonna inhale, point, exhale, flex towards me. Under Swas Leo, the Tamara Pogna Anguta Point Karo, Baris Swas Leo, the Tamara Anguta Tamara Taraf Layavo, and the Tamne Aka Pogma Asar Tase, and the Tamara Muscles Pull Tata Oe Ulaxe. Inhale and exhale. Good. If you need to rest the foot, give it a little rest. Otherwise, let's try and go straight into rolling out just the ankle now. So my toes are drawing a very big imaginary circle in the air and I'm going five in one direction and then let's change nice big circles. Tamari, pagni guti et leke tamaru ankle tamne beg baju fara ho cho te like fere fara hu apne ve biji taraf fara ge ch ne goda karma fara ho. Good. Really important, we're on our feet, um, if you're active a lot of the day, so giving your ankles even that full range of mobility, it's turning. Let's do the same on the other leg. So I'm lifting up, I'm engaging these muscles, I'm going to point, breathe in and flex, breathe out. Point. And when I flex, I even feel it in my calf here. I'm tightening all the muscles. There's a lot of brain connection. So when you think about it, it's mind over muscle connection. And not only will it help uh, with your strength and your flexibility, your mobility, it will also help in terms of physical results. The more you focus on the, work, the muscles we're working, inhale, Exhale, one more, and good. Shall we try and do the rotation? If you want to put the foot down, make sure you rest. Listen to your body and do what you can. I wish I could see you all, um, but this is a virtual training. As a personal trainer, I want to be in your homes with you, so I'm trusting you to Listen to mummy and me with our little teaching points, but just do what you can. And then don't over push yourself. You know if you're in any uh, discomfort to stop and relax. Well done. Now we're going to do a yoga movement that I love normally doing on the floor. It's the cat cow, really good for opening up your spine and giving your back all these vertebra some love and really opening them out. We'll do it seated. So I'm gonna put my hands on, rest them on your, uh, just above your knees. I'm going to try and bring my chin to my chest. I'm gonna show you once. I'm bringing my navel to my spine and I'm rounding my back. So I'm on purpose making a curve, like a C shape in my spine. And then inhale, I'm gonna lift. I'm bringing my shoulders back, my chest lifted, and I'm looking slightly up to even open from my chin down towards my belly button. So we're rounding. Exhale, round, round, round the spine. Can you feel that, mummy? and inhale. You're really trying to open up this middle thoracic spine area where we carry a lot of tension. So I'm purposely trying to round the spine up. Exhale, good, and inhale. Even to try and explain with the vertebrae, you're rounding into a C shape, that spine. Tell me, Pacha Gora Kartha Setamaru, Hasni, 
ના તમારા મણકા બધા ખુલી જશે તમે રાઉન્ડ થાવ તમારી દાઢી નીચે લઈ જાઓ અને શ્વાસ બહાર કાઢો અને પછી શ્વાસ અંદર લઈ ને એકદમ સીધા થઈ જાવ and you almost trying to push your chest out lift up so more than a normal straight back and even going further to open even these muscles these pec muscles help support the back and we're pre- trying to prevent this kyphosis the rounding of the spine by opening up this is a lovely one to do um any time of the day cat cow in on a chair then we are going to do a little bit working the upper back some slight twists for the spine so we put our hands just behind our ears just resting here and we're going to just turn slight turn twisting the spine just go as far as you can exhale and inhale and you just follow your gaze as you're turning exhale inhale really important to wake the spine up get that mobility you should feel it probably in the higher part can you feel it there tumare hasli ma pachhar tumne upar na part ma tumne feel thase ke ye khule che na tumara karod raju ke hasli khuli jaye che Let's try one more in each direction twisting round bare swas andar swas bare swas andar swas If you get tired holding your arms up here because you can feel it in your shoulders you can also do it here We'll just try one to show you if you cross your arms across your chest You can also do this here just in case you want a slightly easier option and you're not raising your arms up and twisting round good I can even feel that in my core it's working the core muscles and the spine which is really good little twists now we're going to do we're working the lower part of the leg the calf building strength in these calves yeah they also carry a lot of tension so we're going to just start off with the easy singles i'm lifting onto my toes lifting my heel off the ground and squeezing this calf just one leg and replace then we try the other leg lift that heel તમે આ પગની પેની ઊંચી કરશો તો તમારા નીચેનો પગ આખામાં અસર થશે સો લેટ્સ ઓલ્ટરનેટ લેટ્સ ડુ અ ટુ મોર વન ઓન ઈચ સાઈડ જસ્ટ સિંગલ લેગ નાઉ એઝ યુ લિફ્ટ ઇટ માઇટ ફીલ ઈઝી બટ ટ્રાય ટુ સ્ક્વીઝ ધીસ મસલ્સ એટ ધ બેક ઓફ ધ લેગ હિયર ધ લોઅર પાર્ટ એન્ડ રિલેક્સ ઇફ યુ વોન્ટ ટુ કેરી ઓન વિથ સિંગલ્સ તમે ઈચ કરજો એક side ne bigi side ne the base sathe try kariye so we're lifting up both heels exhale squeeze and relax bare swas lio dei pag karo chauncha dei pag ni pen anguta good and relax so i hope you can see i'll show you from the side that i'm lifting up the heels feeling it here my calf tightening and relax so if you try and do that 10 times if you want to progress even more you could try and lift up and hold keep breathing just for a few seconds maybe 3 keep squeezing 2 1 and relax so you carry on breathing as you hold don't hold your breath there So lift up. Pagucha karo tamara, le pagni peni uchi karo, ane swas lida karo, ane tamne ani che na pag ma bate asar thai se. Good and relax. So this is a nice easy exercise where you have options to do either single or you can just do double. or you can add in a hold and a squeeze for a few more seconds 
and it will really help strengthen the lower part of the leg. Now, this is one of the most important exercises, the next one. It is like a squat, which I will show you is what I do in my exercise routine. But this is easier using a chair, sit and stand. And I know it's mommy, one of her favorites. She said on BBC Radio yesterday, we've been doing interviews. We've got two interviews after this session today as well, um, which I will be sharing on all of my uh, Instagram, social media. If you want to listen to the radio interviews, they were very good from yesterday. Um, all on BBC will be on Radio 4 on Sunday morning as well. And we're on the Radio 4 website as well for the Sunday programme. But mummy discuss this sit and stand. It is so important where if you are finding it difficult to stand up from a seated position, it's something that we need to try and be able to do as we age to try and maintain your independence. Now, obviously, if you are mobile, you'll be able to try and practice this and build up. Mummy has kept herself uh, fit and active just by looking after grandchildren, her housework, using her stairs in our houses, and also from her prayers we were discussing with radio that um, when she is doing all of her prathna and getting down and bowing and standing back up, she often comes from a seat and comes down, she stands up, she bows, gets her head all the way down, bows down to Bhagavan and comes back up. And then mommy just explained very quickly that actually this has inadvertently helped because I was wondering why mommy can do these exercises so well with me. Apre kamasana daye tiyari apre panchan prani tap kariye chye, itle apra bay teacher, apra bay hat, and apra matu, but do is that they are day chye. Itle aye pora puri exercise chye. Yeah, very good. This is why I was saying to mommy, she's doing excellent in these sessions. Uh, we've done quite a few of these now and I can see even her progress. You can feel a f a, your muscles working, no? Yes, I can. So you might experience a little bit of muscle soreness after a workout if you're completely new, like mommy did at the beginning. And it's just your muscles working, the fibers are breaking down and rebuilding and strengthening. It should go within a few days. And some of the things you can do in case you feel it are to make sure you're having two liters of water and make sure enough water in your body. You can eat a little bit higher protein to help rebuild your muscles. Atle apra kathor, dal, mug, tofu, things like that we have in our Indian diet are great. And you should also try and maybe keep moving so it helps flush out the toxins. So even going for a little walk around your house, your garden, if you're allowed out, it will help release and then this soreness should go. But it is a good sign at the beginning that your muscles and body is responding. So going back to sit and stand, it is a functional movement, whether you're sitting on the sofa, at a chair, even on the toilet, we want to try and be able to get up ourselves. You can use the chair to help you. If you have this lower seat, if you have arm rest higher, and we're going to show you the easy version first because some of you may struggle even to get up slightly. You keep your feet nice and wide and supported, good base to support. And if they may just use the seat for starters, lift up just a little way and come back down. You'll already feel your legs have to work hard. So you exhale, you can hold on and come back down. Okay, just this small movement is going to then try and encourage you to come all the way up. Exhale, squeeze the legs, squeeze the thighs, everything is squeezed. And then inhale, slowly back down. You can hold on. You don't have to do like mommy confidently did, not holding on. 
So, mommy, just explain in Gujarati, and I'll show a few while you're doing it. Thank you, Sipar. Beso to tamara hat side mara kwana, ki tamara arm rest to it in a parakine, ubutavanu, and it amara feet chara pora rakwana, and it amarati aste aste pelam ubutavanu, jara pachi inhale, besi jam. Baris was kado under swas leo, and a pachi tame. आखा उभा थाई जाओ तो तमा आखु सरी खेचा तुई एवी रितना तमे सिद्धा उभा रे जाओ अने आखा सरीर मा असर थाई वो लाग से तमने ने बेसो त्यारे अंदर स्वास लियो Very good. So we're really coming up and squeezing. You want to try and eventually, if you're mobile enough, to come to ten of these. If you do 10 in a row, have a break. If you're more able to do more and progress, you could do a break and then do another 10. And mommy has become good at this. She can now also demonstrate using her arms. So now your heart rate will start increasing and it's good for your cardiovascular health. We're gonna inhale and then exhale. She's gonna lift her arms, squeeze up, and coming back down. Good. So she's now using her arm swinging all the way up, lengthening her body, squeezing everything as she stands up and down. And the squats, the sit and stand also works your core. So the more you hold it in as you come up, you're squeezing tight and coming back down. Well done. So it's an important movement. I would love you to just try and do what you can um, with sit and stand. Now we're feeling our heart rate go a little bit higher. Do you feel a little bit yeah. warmer? We'll do another good one for hips. Nowadays we hear a lot about hip replacement and you want to try and keep our hips mobile. They're such an important part of our body especially if we're seated a lot. This whole area gets very tight. So we're going to just uh, lift up. You can come slightly forward on the seat and we're gonna try and lift up. So you can lift one leg and come down. So we're almost marching on the chair. And as I lift, I'm engaging my core. I'm using the stomach to help lift the leg. You can hold support here. It's harder if you hold your waist. So depending on what level you are, lift the knee up towards your chest as high as you can go. Even if you go slightly, that's fine. And keep breathing. Exhale, inhale. If you want to make it harder, you can just go a little bit faster. Good. So this is like hip marches. Good, but still control, feel it, squeeze the muscles. Well done, mommy. And relax. So, if I may explain the hip marches, then we'll also add in an extra option. Good. Good. So it's like a seated march. Now, mommy is good at this. If you want to advance, you can add in. Imagine you're just punching, lengthening the arm. So you find your own rhythm. You keep breathing. You'll feel your heart rate going up. So this is a good one to do. Like a little bit of aerobic cardio exercise on a chair. And you can do nice strong punches. Mommy's going very well. Well done. Good. Keep breathing. Keep the spine long. Shall we go for five more seconds? If you need to rest, please rest. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Do you feel good? Yeah. So you feel like you're working. You can build up. So there we might have done about 20, 25 seconds. Maybe you build up, you can start timing yourself and you can go slow, it's fine, but maybe build up to a minute would be really good and you can feel your heart working. It has to pump 
the oxygen around the body. It's really, really good for your aerobic fitness. Now we'll do a little bit of strength training using our upper body. So we did the sit and stand works, all the lower body. Shoulders also can become quite a problem as you are sitting and getting older. We want to try and mimic how important it is if you're trying to put something up on a higher shelf. I know that in the kitchen we reach, mommy reaches up for these plates and containers at the top. So this is like mimicking a functional movement. Yeah, so just explain when we're working our shoulders to try and put something up or down, pick it up. So this is a shoulder press. Now you can do it with no weight, beginners, because this is our first session. I want to show you everything very basic today and then next week I'll add in some more movements. You can always stick to the basics. I want you to make sure you don't over push yourself. Do what your body will allow. If you imagine you've uh, got some weight, I'll give you mommy the tins in a minute, by your ears, your palms are facing forward and you can just close your fists. I'm tightening, I'm squeezing in this position to try and strengthen all my muscles and then I'm exhaling, I'm pushing my arms straight up and then bringing them back down. Inhale, I'll just move back slightly to show you. So exhale, my arms are going straight up and inhale, they're coming back by the side of my ears. Yeah, good. So imagine you're holding the weight, which I will give mommy in a minute, the tins. She's going to exhale, push up, shoulder press, and inhale. Without any weight, you should feel, squeeze those muscles in the upper arms, the shoulders, and coming back down. And you should feel, can you feel the warmth even without any weight? Mm -hmm. So you can just use your body weight and focus on these muscles working. Mummy will then add in some tins if you want, because they're a little bit nice light weight tins. So she'll put them either side of her ears. I'll show you with when you, if you want to progress, if you want to add in heavier bottles, we're gonna lift up, exhale, lengthen the arms, good. Good, and inhale, just like you. Good, breathe out, keep your spine straight, your back straight, your stomach is engaged, sucked in, exhale. You should really feel this, focus, sometimes close your eyes and think about the shoulders, the arms, Squeeze them tight, exhale, inhale. We are on number five. Good, let's try and get to eight or 10, mommy, if you're not too tired, are you okay? Yeah. Six, good, even if you do a few and rest, just try a few reps. Mommy's been doing my workouts with me, so she's become stronger. So I hope she inspires you by showing you that now she can do more each time she trains. Last one, and relax, well done. Did you feel it? Yes. Well done, so 10 we did. If you do 10, then you can have a break, and then maybe you do another 10. So I'm going to show you now a very important exercise um, that I would normally do in my uh, exercise routine, but I would do it on the floor. It's a plank, but I'm not going to show you to do anything on the floor. We're going to carefully move one of the chairs over towards the wall. Be careful, please ask for help if you can't uh, move your chair. Otherwise, you could even use maybe your unit. If you have a cupboard, a lower unit uh, by the wall so it doesn't move. So make sure okay, it's secure. 
because we're going to put our weight against it. So carefully come to a lower unit, maybe a table, um, a cupboard, something that's there. Even you could try on your bed if it's sturdy enough. I'll show you an easier version. The higher the surface is, the easier it's going to be. Now I will just demonstrate just to show you. I know when I first did this, mommy uh, surprised me and came on the floor with me and did a perfect plank. But I don't expect you to do this, but this is why I want you, we're trying to show using a chair. We're going to start with a high plank. So here, my hands are directly under my shoulders and I should have a straight line from my head to my heels. I'm squeezing everything. I'm lifting my belly button up towards the ceiling as if I've got a rope pulling it up and my hips aren't up, they're not arched, they're here in a lovely straight line. This is difficult, so to show you just an easier option, we're going to try and do it on the chair. So mommy will demonstrate and then she'll also explain after she's finished. She's going to make sure the chair's against the wall. Good. Now you can move your shoulders, mummy, above, slightly higher. So we're going to make this a straight line. Still a little bit higher if you can. Bring the hips down, Jack. Abadu. A lower curl. So we've got a straight line. Good. Can you bring the hips through ever so slightly? So if you come up a little bit higher, there, over the wrist. Can you feel that? Mm. Now she's trying to get a straighter line and the stomach is coming in as if I've got a rope pulling it up towards the ceiling. Breathe through continuously and relax. Now you can see her arms are working, her wrists are strong, her body is fairly straight. Over time this will come even lower, the hips, and relax. Mummy can show you better actually on the lower part of the chair, which is harder but she has uh, really done well with this. When we first started, even now she's got even more used to it with practice. So practice makes perfect. And then mommy will make sure the chair's against the wall. Good. Tamara hat kushi par rakho. Tamara kanda ne tamaru shoulder ek line ma re ujoye. Pachi tamhe ek pad pachal lai jao. Pachi tamhe biju pad pachal lai jao. Keep your head up, in neutral, lovely, straight line. Her hips can lower just a centimetre, be even harder, and she's pulling. Now just breathe, you can only hold even for a few seconds, would be excellent. Mommy's getting better, so she's breathing. Are you breathing? Yeah. Continuous deep breath, she's squeezing everything. Her legs are straight, she's squeezing her glutes, her stomach is tight. Excellent. Straight arms over the wrists. Shall we hold for three, two, and one. Carefully bring one leg in and up. Excellent. Did you feel that? Yeah. Very good. So you can see, I'm saying to mommy, I can see the progress in her plank. Because at the beginning, it's very easy to be like this. But you won't feel it in your stomach and your core. We're trying to make the core strong, but it also helps your back. So this is a very important move. It's probably one of my top five exercises. And using the chair is just to give you some ideas of what you can do safely at home. In line with that, now we'll just add one exercise that even if I tell my younger clients the word burpee, they get scared. Burpees are normally done very fast on the floor. We're not doing that. We are going to do a nice simple burpee that I've created using the chair. You will only do this once you start doing the plank and you get used to the exercise. So practice maybe this week before our next session. Now, Tamme have a burpee try gojo. If you want, if that was okay, the plank, you will, mommy will demonstrate, but I'll show you one. I'm putting my hands down, and can you see I'm using my legs, so almost like 
a squat. This is a proper squat, like we did on the sit and stand, but I'm keeping that bend in my legs. The feet are quite wide, they're just over hip width. But she, I'm going to push one step, one leg back, and the other leg into that perfect plank that we just did. Then I'm bending the knee, bring one foot back, other foot, and I'm going to stand and give myself a clap. So we're doing it nice and slow. Mommy, if you can, explain, otherwise just show them once. It's quite hard to speak through. So bend your legs, have your feet wide. And feet a little bit wider. Good. Carefully you step one foot back and the other. Into that plank, well done. Hold and then bring the one leg back in, bend it. Other leg and big clap, yay, excellent. So you obviously can progress depending on your ability. But I'm showing you, um, this is quite an advanced move, but a slow version. As you get better, you can then start doing more. You can increase the pace, coming up, clapping. You can maybe do five of these and you'll feel your whole body working and your heart rate increasing. Did you feel the heart rate? Mm -hmm. Very good. So, let's see how we're doing for time. We are good. I will try and show you the last exercise that I want to show you today. Again, it's an important move, a press-up. But we're not doing press-ups on the floor, don't worry. Press-ups are big muscle uh, compound move for muscle groups, which means it's not just working egg muscle, it's working all of them, upper body, and getting your upper body strong. We will start, just like I would any of my younger clients as well, on a wall, as a wall press-up. Mommy will demonstrate with you, so maybe if you do it here, they can see you from that side. So, mommy will have her hands a little bit lower so they're in line with her shoulders. She's going to keep them wide because that's easier. Again, she's imagining this lovely straight line in the body. And she's going to just then go very slowly into her chest towards the wall. Bending at the elbows and exhale, breathe out as you come up. Well done. Good. Good. And you can stay on your heels or as mommy's coming, she's coming onto her tiptoes. The further your feet are from the wall, the harder it is. So you should start off quite close and we're trying to get this lovely bend in the arms, this 90 degree bend and coming back. And when you get better at it, you can step a little bit further back, coming down. Well done, mummy, you've done lots today. Shall we do well done? Really good. Even if, can you feel it all? Yeah. So it's going to help your chest, your arms, the back, your back, all these muscles and a lot of us are lacking, we don't have much upper body strength. So this is really effective but even if try off, try one. Keep your feet close to the wall and then slowly, slowly progress. So mommy did, I'm sure, about eight to ten there. That's very impressive. Um, don't expect to do that straight away. I want you to just do what you can, start off small. Each week I'm going to show you some new exercises and we'll also use, go recap over some of the main key exercises like we've done today. Now, all your hard work, you get a lovely reward and stretch is also part of my Companies feel good with Lavina because I want everyone to feel good physically, mentally and emotionally. And I have a feel good fitness prescription. 
it covers cardio so where we were doing things like the hip marches and the punches where we're doing burpees it's raising your heart rate it covers strength training like our sit and stand our press-ups even the shoulder press that we did today and it also covers mobility like all the work we did at the beginning and stretch is my favorite part it's like a reward for all your hard work so we're going to stretch on the chair we're going to lift our interlock our hands good and lengthen your arms and then you're going to bring them up above your head mommy shall we move back slightly just so that they can see our fingertips as well great so let's lift up just lengthen the arms now try, imagine, even though my fingers are locked, try and imagine I'm pulling them apart up here because that will create tension down even into your lats. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale. Now we're trying that again. This time we're going to have one leg forward, so you can come a little bit forward on the chair. I want you to keep this leg really straight. It doesn't matter how far forward we come on it, but keep the leg straight and your heel on the ground, yeah? Lovely. So we're lifting up, inhale, arms along, and now I'm going to slowly bring my chest towards my thigh. I feel it even straight away here. If you want to go further, you can try and touch your toes, your ankles, even your shins, but try and bring your back, nice straight back, chest towards the thigh. Hold it and breathe. Just try and relax here for a couple of deep breaths. That's right, Good, keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, we're lengthening, stretching out releasing any tension in the leg one more deep breath in and slowly roll up so did you feel that yes. you should feel a lovely stretch if your leg is straight all the way from your hamstring down the back through your calf even to your ankle let's try the other side because you did the sit and stands all these movements we've worked our body we need to Make sure you stretch to prevent any injury, to lengthen out the muscles and also to improve your flexibility. And it makes you feel good because it's nice and relaxing, calming for the mind. We'll lengthen up again, inhale, exhale, slowly on the other side, bringing my chest towards my thigh. You don't have to collapse forward, you can even hold wherever feels comfortable. Even here, if you want to go for your toes, well done. Just hold, even hold your ankles. Nice deep breaths. Big inhale, big exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. At the end of a workout, you want to try and hold the stretches for 20 to 30 seconds, which it sounds too much to most people. So I say focus on your breath, breathe in, breathe out and relax. So even if you do five long breaths, and I keep talking, mommy can explain mm. to distract you. And let's stretching, we try and hold. Yeah. Yeah, so can you feel that on your legs? Lovely, so now we'll just do a nice side stretch. We're gonna keep our hands on the, the chair, or on your um, armrest if you want. We're gonna lengthen one arm, inhale, and then slowly bend towards the side. So I get a lovely stretch from this hand all the way down. I'm keeping my hips into the seat. You can look up to that hand if you want. Side stretch, inhale, and exhale. Let's try the other side, lifting up, all the way up and over, that's it, so really stretch out, good, can you feel that all the way down, 
Good, keep breathing, inhale and exhale, excellent. We'll now do our shoulders because we did the shoulder presses, the press ups, all of them we've worked upper body. We're going to bring one arm forward and then just say that. Good, we are actually opposite on the screen, so whichever hand you have. Good, and then we're going to bring it across the body, just hook the other hand either above or below the elbow and help to draw this hand toward this arm towards my chest and you're going to try and bring it in towards your chest good so even if you try and just bring if you keep relax the shoulders and just, can you feel a good release? You should feel it. You can look over the other the shoulder now, mommy, that side. And you should feel it all across this upper back, scapula, shoulder, deltoids, all this lovely stretch. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep holding if you can. One more deep breath in and exhale, good. So focus on your breathing, bring your heart rate back to normal. Let's try the other side, so arm is long. And I'm slowly drawing, bringing this arm towards my chest. Very good. And then mommy, you can look over towards me, lengthening out the neck, opening out the back of your shoulder. Relax the shoulders down so they're not up here, they're nice and relaxed. Deep breaths in and out. Enjoy this lovely stretch. Breathe in, breathe out and relax. Well done. We're just going to do now for your chest and your back because we did the press ups as well. It's and just a lovely stretch to release. So we're going to put our hands in the middle of our back. So my palms are facing down and I'm trying to keep, bring my elbows back. So as soon as I bring the elbows pointing towards the back and I open out this part, these pec muscles are going to support everything. You're stretching out, sitting nice and tall, keep breathing. And I like people to breathe out through their mouth when they're exercising. So I can see, make sure they're taking deep breaths. Can you feel that? Yes. And relax. Well done. And the last one, to, uh, hugging, like hugging a big tree, like the cat cow in the beginning, but we're rounding out the back and opening out. Good. You can just relax your chin towards your chest. Opening out the back. One more deep breath here. Inhale and exhale. Excellent work. We've got one final finale. If you do any of my workouts, we always finish this feel good finish. We're going to just uh, sit nice and tall. We're gonna take a lovely, big, positive inhale. Lengthen the arms, breathe in, and then exhale any negativity, stress, anxiety all away. अंदर श्वास लियो बजा सुख विचारों अंदर लियो बारे श्वास काटो बजा असुख विचारों बारे काटो very good last one smile everyone inhale hands meet at the top down to your amazing heart center जय जिनेंद्र प्रणाम प्रणाम thank your body for all the hard work it's done today. If you are watching, that's absolutely fine. Just take a few exercises away and treat your body with exercise for your body and your mind. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much, Mommy, for uh, supporting me and doing these sessions with me. Um, like I said, we'll be on BBC Radio all week. So if you can catch us, it's the 7.10 a.m. show on Sunday morning. It's a religious program on BBC Radio 4. 
um, which is probably our largest, it's the largest station in, the, in London. So uh, we are about to do the recording after this. Have a lovely, safe week. Stay well.